Great again, my name is Ivan Trujillo and I represent the Lewis Berger Group who's been working as a consultant to the DOT on the project since its inception. And just to begin, historically for some people that may not know all the history of the project is the purpose and need has not changed since day one, virtually. The purpose for this project, which you see on this board here, is to rectify some of the geometrical and safety <coughs> issues with the existing interchange. Virtually, there's some tight loop ramps and very short acceleration lanes, etc. It's a very, um, it's, it's called a trumpet type style interchange with these loop ramps. What we're proposing to do is convert it to a more conventional <coughs> diamond type interchange. So virtually the purpose and need is what this board displays and this board's displaying what the proposal is in terms of what we want to reconfigure it to look like or to become. Some of the elements just to kind of orient everybody is this is the southern end of the project and it begins virtually where the northbound off-ramp currently exits I-25, right in this general area. As we head north, we cross 2nd Street or the loop ramp system now and we head north to the southern end of Hereford Bridge, which is the terminus or the end of our project. Within those limits, we're proposing to realign the existing northbound off-ramp to be a little closer to I-25 in this direction, eliminate the northbound on-ramp, this loop ramp, and build a north, new northbound on-ramp directly across from the northbound off and heads towards Hereford. For that configuration, we're also looking at reconfiguring the loop ramp, the north southbound off-ramp, in this direction. And the southbound on-ramp is virtually where it exists today is where it's proposed to stay. The one big change is that 2nd Street is being proposed to go all the way through to a connection or an intersection with the frontage road, where it'll end. So to make some of this geometry work is the frontage road, as you can see here, is just east of the existing frontage road. So we're virtually this configuration kind of tightened up the geometry from the previous version and it allowed us to build most of the improvements within the existing interchange footprint, which means that uh, there's very little right-of-way required. There'll be a little bit of right-of-way, at least in terms of um, a, memorandum, a memorandum of understanding with the city. We are gonna encroach a little bit further east than the existing roadway um, East Frontage Road is now, so that property is owned currently by the city, and the city is working with the DOT to, to, to work with that acquisition. It's very small in terms of area, I think it's less than an acre. Um, in terms of utilities, there's little or no impact with this proposal versus what was proposed almost two years ago. Um, the access to New Mexico 555 is to remain the same as it exists today. Same location, basically the same configuration. We are proposing some pedestrian and bicycle access that currently ends about right here. The sidewalk ends here, the curb ends here. We're gonna carry that east or southeast to the east frontage road. So you'll have bicycle and, and pedestrian access along 2nd Street all the way to here. Um, from a drainage perspective, virtually everything remains the same. How water flows today, water will be flowing virtually the same way after this proposal or after the construction of this project. Um, the bridges, the two existing bridges, are going to remain. There'll be a little bit of work in terms of maybe aesthetically, maybe repainting them, uh, fixing up some of that kind of stuff. Uh, but the bridges are to remain. Um, access control is one of the issues. I don't know if you can see from where you're standing, but when you're able to come up and zip, there's like a pink or pink line that represents the current NMDOT access control, which means that from this line westward and from this east line eastern, there is no access to I-25 currently. This project will provide access to this interchange to the east side of I-25 at this location. So that line will be broken, which will allow direct access to the interchange right here. Um, in terms of that, there's a small slight change from the existing configuration of access right in this general area only. So everything else as it exists today will remain as it is today. Um, the project is on a pretty aggressive timeline now to let to construction. The DOT is looking to let this project in the fall, early fall. Um, I'm not sure what that month is because there's still quite a bit of work to do. However, we've, um, we've contacted or, or met with the, the utility owners in the area. And again, we believe that there will be no impacts, which is a great thing for moving the project forward. The right-of-way for the project has been really minimized. We're almost within all the existing DOT right-of-way. So 
Again, there's not a really big hurdle there. So now virtually the plan is, is to take comment tonight, allow you all to provide comment over a period of time, two weeks, and then integrate any of those comments that we can into this configuration. From that date forward, is in that will become the foundation of what we'll develop the construction plan documents from. So in a nutshell, this is what's being proposed. Everything you see in a dark shade is new. Um, virtually all the roadways that exist today, like I-25, will remain at the same elevation, same width, just rebuilt from the bottom up. So every, everything existing will be torn out and rebuilt. Uh, and again, you can kind of see from our aerial where certain alignments deviate from where they are today, but not very much, if you have an opportunity to take a look at it. I, I, I see what your concern is about the overall situation. We need an overhead sign. Yeah. And we need those lanes identified as to where they go. Right. Under there, it has and so forth and so forth. Right. And you're asking if you can do, combine better signage and consider looking at some lighting so it's a, a lit up at night. That's what you're asking.